How's it going, social fam? NLK3 here, and uh, basically wanted to do a video. I wanted to do a topic on something that I think is very important. I think it's very important that we all take this in consideration, and we all take this very seriously. And it's basically a topic about being in tuned with your body. Okay, so knowing what's going on with your body and being in tune with your body. And I think a big thing is, is that we all get sidetracked uh, by the day-to-day -day activities, right? And got to pick up the kids and I got to go to the store and I got to feed the, the cats and the dogs and I got to go to the gym or I got to go do something, right? So, you know, it's, it, I think that, you know, I'm going to take the responsibility to basically enlighten you, if you're watching this video, for a reason to maybe take a couple steps back and every so often make an evaluation and, and, and listen to your body, right? Because you got cancer, high blood pressure, cholesterol, you know, diabetes, you got all these various different problems, right? And it's not until you get to a certain place where you're like, oh my God, I'm not feeling right. I need to go to the doctor. So then you go to the doctor, they give you a prescription for medication, you take that medication, um, and then after you take that medication, then you, what happens, right? You take the medication and then you start having a codependency on a medication because you're not in tune with your body. Now, I'm gonna give you a quick story. So three years ago, I was diagnosed with colitis. Colitis is the inflammation of the large intestines. So what it means is, is that when I have high levels of stress, my large intestines basically attacks itself. There's like uh, too many white blood cells or, or something like that, or red blood cells, don't know all the logistics behind it. Look up colitis, colitis and Crohn's. Crohn's disease is in your esophagus and colitis is in your large intestines and it's at the end. So then you get like abdominal pain, blood in the stool, you know, it's scary stuff. So I had to go do basically a colonoscopy, you know, and I'm not, you know, in my 50s and 60s and I had to go do this colonoscopy and that was not fun having something go all the way up and they put a camera up there and you have to drink all these fluids to flush everything out. So, you know, I'm putting things in perspective and doing these videos just really quick to cap to let you know that these are videos that I'm doing that actually pertain to things that are happening in my life that I'm taking time out of my day to enlighten you, to give back to you, because this is how I want to give back. I want to put things in perspective to help you through your day um, and help you through something that you're going through, right? So there's entrepreneur spirit and I'm doing an eight week challenge and I also own a, a tech startup and basically, so working out's personal with tech startups business and the entrepreneur spirit is kind of just giving back and doing these videos when I have time. So basically, it's good to be tuned, in tune with your body, getting back on subject. Uh, it's good to be in tune with your body. If you have a headache, ask yourself, why do I have a headache? Maybe you're not drinking enough fluids, right? So you need to drink some water. Make sure you're drinking four to five cups of water a day. I drink a gallon a day because I work out. Um, you know, you're tired. Why are you tired? Are you not sleeping well? Well, then make sure that you're getting six to eight hours of sleep. Or maybe the bed that you're sleeping on isn't something that is comfortable, and maybe you need to reevaluate your bed because you're having back problems and you're not sleeping well. Why are you having pain? You have pain in your neck, right? Or you have pain in your back. Well, maybe because it's your, you're stressing out, and you're not basically um, you're stressing out, and you're not basically taking the time to be able to go take a walk, or go to the gym, or get your rest, or do what you need to do to be able to uh, put emphasis on you know um, having that balance. So being in tune with your body, um, case in point, has to do with basically balance, and has to do with making sure that you're getting enough sleep, you're getting your nutrition, you're eating four to five times a day, and you're getting the proteins and the carbs and the fruits and the vegetables and the fats that you need you know you're getting the sleep you're getting the, um, the the basically the fluids so there's a lot to it that individuals don't understand so you need to make sure you put emphasis on getting your sleep getting your nutrition taking breaks and having balance in your life so make sure you take that time for yourself to go take a walk hang out with family go take a swim um, you, whatever the case may be, go to the gym, just have that balance in your life so that way you don't get overstressed and start having more complications. And you know, someone like myself that has colitis, I haven't had a flare up in almost two years. They said that you'll never be um, cured. And I basically just lowered my stress level, I get my rest, I get my fluids, I get that nutrition, I go to the gym, and I don't have any issues. Now I had a couple flare ups that inspired me to do a video to give back to you guys. 
um, you know, so living with colitis is real, but it's all about the nutrition and keeping your stress levels down and you'll be fine because stress affects us all differently. So for me, it affects my large intestines and my colitis and it affects like, say for instance, I was having this pain in my neck when I looked to the right. So I had this pain right down here. So this is real life stuff, okay? This isn't a joke. And if you want to stay away from pain medication, stay away from, you know, basically doctors and prescriptions and having a codependency on that, just make sure that you're staying in tune with your body. Don't overanalyze, don't overstress, just get to sleep, get the nutrition, get the fluids and get that time off to be able to have balance. Thank you for basically watching this video. You can like, follow, and connect with me online. Norman Lloyd Kinsey III is my full name. NLK3 is just for short. I appreciate your time. Um, I have basically Norman Kinsey uh, videos on YouTube. You'll see a bunch of videos. And I have old videos out there too that you can tune in with, and they're really old videos. But um, I appreciate your time. So I hope this helped you today. Until the next video, uh, NLK3 signing off. And uh, tune in and like, follow, and connect. And thank you for the support.